Welcome back. We are talking with Auteur. <laughs> I, we're going to make it official now. That never gets Blake old. Robbins. <laughs> the film is The Sublime and Beautiful. It's screening at the Slamdance Film Festival at the gorgeous Treasure Mountain Inn. Let's go right to the clip yeah. because we've... Sure, let me just add. Yeah, to, sure. Tomorrow, Monday, it'll be Monday yep. at 445 is the, the next and last screening of our We Care. Yeah. All Love right, for then. people we to come. Got, you got tomorrow. 20 hours <laughs> yeah, exactly. to get your tickies and get over and see yeah. it. I regret no. that I won't be able to see it. Yeah. Let's watch the Easy. clip. Okay. Oh my God. There it is. You want me to set it up now? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that any setting up is needed to connect with your yeah. character's place in his life at that moment, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, what's happened there is that uh, the, the actress playing my mother has just overheard them walk by and say, uh, and talk, reference a car accident. The car accident was caused by the drunk driver who's laying in the next room. That where I'm sitting is the next room over. So she calls me out uh, to make me aware. Uh, this is actually based in fact when my aunt was hit by the drunk driver, when I went to the hospital, the ICU, our family had to deal with the fact that the drunk driver was in the same room with us, and that we did in fact find out who he was and know who he was. And so that's, that's kind of a, a part in the movie where the character, David, finds out. And so when he's looking at the clipboard, he's looking at the address and the name of the human being who took his three children. Took his children. Yeah, and the scene that precedes this is a moment he forces the hospital staff to let him see the kids, what's happened to them. So, <laughs> all right, it's time for another drink. No kidding. <laughs> Cheers. Well, <laughs> anyway, it I, doesn't get more gritty than that. <laughs> I've been on sort of an actorly thinking plane today because yeah. I started my day having a conversation with another actor turned Writer yeah. and director John I know, we just, we just keep turning. <laughs> well, we I would satisfied. imagine. I have to imagine that there comes a, a point in time when you when you have been in front of the camera yeah. and you've you've done yeah. other people's work yeah. so much that that there has to be. I gotta I gotta do and, my stuff. Yeah, working as an actor is definitely a film school for wanting to yes. to tell your own stories. Yes. You know what I mean? So you're you're in this sort of and and and, and I find that there are two different actors. They're the actors who just want to act and have blinders yeah. and and are phenomenal performers and have no interest in what anyone else is doing <laughs> and what how it goes. And, and, and they're like racehorses with blinders and they're just phenomenal and you'll watch them run all day. And then there's those of us like John perhaps and myself who. I can never not be aware of the whole, of why yeah. people are doing what they're doing, how this is coming about, how would I tell this story, what, you know, what my thing is. So to raise a little bit of money and have no one tell you how to do it and use those 20 years of experience, I mean, it's just liberating. You say, oh, I'm going to make mine and I'm going to do it this way. Well, yeah, we're, having, we're having a fantastic parallel conversation yeah. because That's what you said. <laughs> John said a, a very similar thing. So I'll, I'll close yeah. with the same question that I asked him, which is, after having done this, mm -hmm. the entire process from yep. conceiving yep. the story, writing the script, turning it into page-by-page -page dialogue, yep. the Casting logistic, it. all of yeah. it, yeah, shooting. are you, are you going to... I know you're going to do it again. Are you yeah. going to do it again soon? You're going to take a break and just yeah. do your thing, have your acting roles. What, I, what do you I, think? Yeah, I heard this week that uh, making movies is like being addicted to drugs. I mean, you're either <laughs> addicted or you're not, and you're going to make a movie. You know, give me a, another movie. Absolutely. Um, I am blessed to already be in prep for another film. Uh, ah. Yeah. Uh, someone's approached me with a story. It's based on a, an actual person's life story. It's a, it's a gentleman who was in a tragic car accident and survived the accident when he was 13. Uh, he's paraplegic and he's become a yoga instructor and he's actually really well known in yoga circles. He has his own yoga studio and he teaches yoga to able-bodied and disabled people. He's gotten married, he has a kid. It's a really remarkable story and, and the beautiful thing about this movie is if, when and if we do it right, people will leave the audience feeling, you know, the movie feeling great. I don't know if that happens with my film. <laughs> yeah, I, I think what happens is people feel a profound connection to it. Yeah, of course, you know, of to the course, gritty of truthfulness of it. So I'm excited it's, to do something that'll leave people feeling good. <laughs> head on up <laughs> exactly, at the end of the next exactly. one. Exactly. 
Blake yeah. Robbins, thank yeah. you for being here. Oh, it's really you, wonderful Terry. to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Excellent. Congratulations thank on you. this achievement, yeah. this accomplishment. Best wishes for the next one. Yeah, can I sit out there and finish my drink? Absolutely. All you right. can. You stay as long <laughs> as you like. All right. It's Blake Thanks. Robbins. The film is The Sublime and Beautiful, screening for the final time tomorrow at 445 at the Treasure Mountain Inn. So please avail yourself of the fantastic opportunity to go and see this film. Quick break, Sarah Nibley is going to tell us how awesome and excellent the weather is going to continue to be for the rest of this film festival. I'll let her fill you in on the rest. Stay here. It's Mountain Views on Park City Television because I love you.